Stripe subscription and billing plans set up recurring billing with Stripe subscriptions. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can create subscription-based billing on Stripe. So if you're offering any type of services, if you are offering any type of thing where you have billing that is going to be recurring, and it doesn't necessarily have to be you no know, standard recurring billing it could be bundled billing so maybe the next time someone pays they're going to pay slightly less so you might have tiered billing you might have regular subscription billing you might have pay as you go billing so if you're offering classes and you are going to charge people by the number of classes they take so if they don't take a class they don't have to pay for it so you can customize all of these subscriptions and billings in stripe and I will show you guys exactly how. So for this, let's get started by going into our Stripe dashboard. Now, once we go into our Stripe dashboard, we are going to create a product or a service. And we're going to go into our products catalog. We have, you know, some old products, but I'm just going to archive this. And we're going to get started by adding our new product. So we're going to click on add a product and you're going to add the name of your service or subscription. Let's say that my subscription is going to be keyword and SEO, SEO optimization, optimization for, or keyword and SEO optimization. Yeah. And I can add a description. So I will have a periodic or this is going to be keywords added, or let's say I offer 30 new keywords in your site and then let's say you know add some backlinks or whatever are the descriptive features of your service then you can add an image then you're going to choose your payment now this is where the tricky part comes in a lot of people get confused so we're going to select recurring billing obviously because we're building a subscription then we're going to add the amount but you will have a billing period now let's say that this is $50 for the first time someone gets it. I'm going to be charging $50 for this. I can choose the billing period, whether this is going to be monthly, weekly, daily, yearly, every three months, every six months. So even though you might've chosen monthly, this is just flat subscription rates. However, Stripe allows you full customization. So if you click on more pricing options, you have other pricing options such as package pricing where if someone goes for seo subscription but they also go for site building i might offer them a bundle discount then tiered pricing involves different price points based on unit quantity so for example you can do this based upon volume or graduated if a person all unit prices are based on the final tier reached or tiers apply as the quantity increases. So this is different. To explain this, let's just do a simple, you know, flat rate. So if I go into one and the first price is going to be 50, okay, you will see that for the second quantity, let's say I am charging 40 and I can add another tier, okay? So let's say for the third one, I am charging 44, okay? You can add flat fees in this. So if I have the unit quantity at three, I would be collecting $132. So that means if I open up my calculator over here, if I am, you know, if someone purchases 30, they would be paying, for example, so they would be paying 50 plus 44 plus 40. So every time their price increases, their, uh, their unit quantity increases, their price is slightly decreasing. I'm pretty sure the math is going to work like this for your tiered pricing based upon volume. However, this is going to be based upon the final tier reached. So this just averages out the price and then offers that price. Then if we go into graduated tiers, you will see that the price is going to differ by the tier so the first price is fifty dollars the next price is eighty eight dollars and the next price after that is going to be forty dollars so they would be paying exactly the 
price that they have. So for example, if this goes to two, you will see that they will be paying the exact pricing. In the next one, they would be paying slightly more. So this is a total of obviously four unit quantities. If I go for three unit quantities, it's going to be exactly the same because I changed the last unit to two. So you can set up these types of pricing models. You can also do pay as you go. So pay as you go can be done in three ways again. You have three ways of setting up pay as you go. Firstly, you have per unit. So by the number of units, users, or seats. This means that if they subscribe for my um, keyword optimization class and they are purchasing for five people, that means that they would get a per unit discount. However, you can also do by package. So if they are bundling things together, then you can offer a discount or based upon the priced quantity, they can go on ahead and select USD, uh, the first class is going to cost them 50. They, to reach the second tier, they would have to be charged, but if they are between you know two to three products, they would be charged $44. And let's say I add another tier, or to let's say uh, eight, they would be charged $40. And if they are purchasing more than eight, they would be charged um, $30 per class. So they would get a $20 discount if they go and subscribe for nine classes instead of going for a singular class so you guys can see the price for nine classes is 270 the price for eight classes is 320 so you have to make sure you're providing a valuable discount you do want to make sure the prices don't go too high because if the price for a lower tier is higher then people are most definitely not going to opt for it so you have to make sure the prices are close by but still you know efficient enough for people to opt for the discounted price instead. You can also add other tiers. You can create meters. So you can link a meter to price your customer's page. And this is just going to be a bit more difficult to set up. So I personally don't prefer to add that instead. I like to just go with the basics. So we're gonna go ahead and first add a couple of subscriptions. So I'll show you guys first the flat subscription. Let's say this is going to be a clothing box, clothing box subscription. This is going to be a recurring fee of $50. This is going to be monthly and I'm just going to click on add product. And no matter what, people would be charged $50 per month once they purchase this. This might be a subscription box where every month I send them a clothing box filled with different items. Then I might have something like a members only exclusive content, okay? And then we can go into more pricing options. We can click on over here and we might offer this pay as you go or tiered. These are the two options that would apply because either we want to create tiers of the members we have or build a option where people can unlock content as they go. So we can add it per unit, you know, by the number of units they are. The basic price for that, let's say, is going to be ten dollars and then after that based upon the unit we can add a meter for that as well so in this way you can get started by adding products and subscriptions into your stripe account and then you can just get a payment link and add them to any of your websites so you can use whichever website you're building you can just create a payment link to that so I hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe